Whoa! So I've brought this one to vote. The bad thing is there's actually a park right in front of where we vote. <laughs> so I think she thinks we're going to the park and we're not. And I'm hoping that she doesn't, you know, act like she's at the park because she's really excited. She sees green space. So that's not great. We'll see, but she's having a good time already, she thinks. It's gonna be sad when we stand in line for an hour. <laughs> Therapy and I went to vote today, and that went really well. She did good. I feel like, you know, obviously she's young, and it was a it was a while on the line. She got under the table in the voting thing, so that was good because they have like I don't know how it is everywhere, but like they have you know the voting machines like on a table, and so I put her between kind of me and the table, and she actually kind of got under there with her butt and waited, which was good. I've never voted with her before, so I didn't really know what to expect, but that went well. Obviously, I didn't film in there because duh voting like you can't you know film in that area so we didn't film anything but Fairby wore her red white and blue vest I was gonna make a mask to match her vest just particularly for voting day but I forgot so that's okay and wow oh my gosh that is so good I was really proud of how she did it voting and I was also really really impressed with how the people at the courthouse handled it because you never know whenever you're going to something like that how they're going to react what they're going to do you know because it's not necessarily state employees who are working there for the voting part I totally didn't know what to expect I had zero ideas I honestly I went to early voting on purpose number one in case she was not cool with waiting that long because we've never waited in a line that long and I expect it to be like a couple hours really but that was one reason I went. The other reason was because I wasn't sure how the people there would be because you don't ever know. Like if you go to something like that, you don't ever know if they're gonna be like, well, we're at a government place and you need to have doctor's note or whatever, you know what I mean. Like you never know what places are gonna do. Are you really gonna pull my hair? <laughs> really? Let's not do that, okay? At the point whenever we got to the front of the line, um, so at the point when we got to the front of the line, um, one of the people who came out of the thing to vote actually like stopped and was like, oh, are you a cute puppy? What kind of dog is it? And they were telling me like, you know, about whatever they don't have for a dog. You know how people do, which that's fine. And I was like, yeah, you know, she's not really supposed to talk to people. He's like, oh, it's okay. And it's like, you know, no, it's not okay. Just like, this isn't okay. It's not okay, Fair. Do you see her? Do y'all see this little booger over here? Don't do that. Here, play baby dolls. Or play Snoopy guy too. Here, you, you just need attention, huh? So we were in the courthouse and like, obviously if somebody comes up to your dog who's like a, another citizen, it's always awkward whenever we have to tell somebody no, but it's extra to me, it's extra awkward whenever it's someone who's old enough to be a grandparent of mine. It's also awkward whenever we're at like a place where it's like a police station, <laughs> um, a courthouse, you know, places where it's gonna be like, mind your manners place. So I was just like, yeah, you know, thank you. You know, she's not always just talking to anybody. And they like did like this to like therapy. And the person who was working there actually came up and told the person, they're like, yeah, you're not supposed to talk to the dog. And like kind of moved him along and Fairby barked because Fairby felt my heart rate go up, obviously, because my heart rate was like, you know, it was getting it at that point. But I was just getting like, you know, ooh, this isn't gonna go good. Did you finally give up? I'm sorry. So whenever Fairby barked, I was like, you know, I was just like, oh no, because we had made it all the way to the front of the line. You know, I looked at the, the person who had told them, told the other person not to talk to Fairby and I was like, you know, sorry. I was like, she feels my heart. He's it's okay, it's okay. And I'm like, cool. So I was just like, oh. and then she did good. She didn't say anything else the rest of the time, which I understand, like, I know why she did that, but like, it's still not cool. And she let out, it was like her hyper bark is what it was. It was like, it wasn't like a mean, like a wolf it was like a her wolf to be like hey you know like that and I was still like you know crawl under the freaking table embarrassed about that she didn't do it until somebody was like making me like you know have my heart rate go up basically and so she was telling me but it still isn't cool like I wish she didn't bark to alert um, she's always allowed to do whatever she wants to do as far as learning goes I'm trying to phase that out, but I don't really know how to phase that out. And I don't want her not to alert. So I feel like her barking 
to alert is better than her not alerting at all. So I don't really know how to change that. So I don't really know how to phase that out and to like get her to do something different. Like I said, I don't want to discourage her from actually telling me something, but at the same time, I wish that she wouldn't use a bark to do that. I'll take what I can get at this point. Like I said, I'm really happy with how she did though. Like I, I didn't know what to expect and I'm very happy with how she did. And I was happy with how the, the courthouse staff did too. That was what I was actually trying to get to. Number one, they actually told someone to stop talking to her, which was like, thank you. Because you know, normally that's not a thing. And then also whenever I went in, they completely ignored her. Like the staff there ignored her and didn't like try to engage with her. It wasn't a weird experience. It wasn't like a anything where you would think that people don't know what to do. But the other thing, we saw our first other real life service dog. There was a golden in line and they were way, way, way ahead of us. That dog was doing so good. And Fairby's over here like getting up, getting down, getting up, getting down, like looking all around. Cause you know, she's, she's young and she's still like excited about everything. This dog probably was considerably older than Faraby, but I was like, just anytime I see another service dog, like I'm like, I'm like almost like a creeper. <laughs> just because I'm impressed whenever they're like really good. And I'm like, gosh, you know, like I wish I could be like, how old is your dog? How long before this stopped happening? Because Faraby is still, even though she did good, she had to be told every time. Every time we stopped, I had to tell her, like we'd move like three inches or like, you know, really probably six feet. And I have to be like, okay, sit down. So that's our voting experience. So I'm gonna link a subscribe button here, a training playlist here in Vlogtober, I guess maybe here, possibly. Something cool here. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.